everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I am going fishing with a very good friend of mine, Captain Cody Dunn. Captain Cody is taking out a client. He's taking out one of his major sponsors from Home Depot, Jeff, and Jeff is bringing his son along. And they asked me if I wanted to come along as well. I said, absolutely. We are going to stop off at the jetties before we head offshore. This is the first part of that trip. Now, it is that time of the season. Yes, sheepies, convict, sheephead fishing. I love fishing for sheephead. They're, they taste great. They're also known as the bay snapper. Not that I really tasted sheephead, but from my understanding, they taste great. Um, some people say they're hard to clean, but I have seen Captain Cody clean one in less than a minute and a half. Well, probably about a minute and 40 seconds. I've seen him fillet both sides of a sheephead. But yeah, we're going to head to the jetties. Um, you know, like I said, it's that time of the season. They start migrating. They start moving through major, major passes, moving along the north and south jetty. And uh, also the jetties around Freeport and really any jetties wherever you're at. And that's a great area to target sheephead all year round, but especially during their migrations because now they're really feeding, they're eating a lot, they're very aggressive, and they're in big numbers. So we're just at the beginning of that migration, and uh, I couldn't get wait to get out there. Too, if somebody wants to fish a popping cork over by the rocks. Oh, Corky. Any bites, anybody? Ruben, you, Ruben's on. Ruben's on. Nice one. Oh, he pulled drag, yeah. There we go. That's it. Baby boy. Well, you know, I'd like to start off strong. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's right. That's the one you lost. Jeez, everything is hard on them. This one's 19. Almost 20. Yeah. That's a good one. Watch your fingers. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Oh, we all have roles to play in life. <laughs> oh man. Drag, huh? He's taking some drag. There you go. You go ahead, fish, just fish, just drop it. Drop yeah. it down. Go, That's where they're at. There we go. Two and five minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's nice sheepy. Alright, you caught mine's baby, I guess, but <laughs> but you did catch one before Cody. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> so everybody's on except <laughs> that guy. That guy. And a sheep head. That's sheepy. That's what's embarrassing. Sheepy and sheepish. Have like 20 by now. There you go. You got him that oh. time. Oh, there you go. Little guy. Oh, that's a nice one. You need the net? With the net? Where's the net? Oh, here it is up there. There we go, little convict. Yeah. Woo. Just nice color to him. Where are you going? I'm about to fall. That's 15. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's 17. Cody can't catch fish. Woo, proof. Proof. The pr so what we are fishing with is live shrimp. Sheephead uh, love nice any kind of crustacean like that. They love mussels. They eat crabs, clams. They like to eat the barnacles. That's why you find them around structure a lot, and especially around these big jetty rocks. They all get all in there, and and unfortunately, when you are fishing around structure, that's when you're gonna run into a lot of hangups. You're gonna run into a lot of snags. You're gonna get hung up a lot. So if you are gonna go fish for sheepheads around the jetties, whether you're on boat or on the rocks, please make sure that you take a lot. Of terminal tackle, would you take a lot of tackle? Would you take a lot of leader line? Make sure you have plenty of hooks. 
Now, I know a lot of people like to use a uh, treble hook. I will downsize any hooks you're going to use, downsize them. Now, the reason why I try to stay away from treble hooks so much is because you, I will use them, but you have three hooks, so you're, you're really hoping to get a couple of those hooks in their mouths. Now, the reason why I would downsize them is because sheep pit have really small mouths. Uh, for, for the size that they are, their mouths are relatively small, and you have to penetrate, try to get at least two of those hooks to penetrate into their jawline. Now, you can get lucky and skin hook some, but I really try to go with a J-hook style hook, like you see right here, and also a hook kind of like that you see there too. A couple different sizes that I like to use and uh, you want something with a little longer shaft that where you can come outside of their mouth so that's about an inch long that's that's a good size like I said you can even go smaller than that this is probably just a little under an inch but these are the kind of style of hooks that I would use one of the way that we are rigging them up to fish for them on bottom is that we are taking a, a I'll take anywhere to about a foot of leader line uh, foot to 18 inches I like to use Yozuri 30. Sometimes I might go to 40, especially fishing around these rocks, because you're gonna get you're gonna get um, hung up a lot. But I will I would fish with with 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader line. And what I simply do is that I will tie. And I'm not gonna go too much in detail because I do have a video how I'm setting these up. But I'll tie a knot to I'll tie a loop knot down here to the hook, and then I will place one of these weights on it these little split shot weights there, there's different sizes and you could pick uh, depends how much strong the current is and how much weight you're gonna need sometimes if you have too much weight and it's gonna really really get hung up sometimes you don't have enough weight and the current is gonna take it out another way that we are fishing for them is on cork corks are really popular to fish out there around the rocks because you don't get down into the rocks you're kind of fishing above the area and sometimes the sheep heads are going to be higher up in the rocks and sometimes they're going to be down low between the rocks so really you got to go where the bite is woody makes a great shrimp style cork and that's what we're using live shrimp and also my friends at coastal corks there they also make great corks as well and then the length of the line really just depends on where the sheep it is how shallow it is how deep it is how where the water level is so you don't want to make it too too long and then get hung up every single time you cast and you're down between the rocks and you don't want to make it too short where you're just way too up in the water column you kind of want to just play and see and then maybe about six inches from the hook i will put a little split shot weight like this or i will put a bead just to try to keep that shrimp down a little bit and and slow it up a little bit so it doesn't run too fast from the sheep head. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm yeah. Watch this rod with the cork on it. Ah, it's getting ready to go down right there. Oh no! It just oh. fell. It has been a while. <laughs> <laughs> you fought hard, hey! Don't underestimate. You fought hard. Let's see where he's gonna be. Really? Yeah, he looks small, don't he? Yeah, he does look small. A little tiny. Oh. Oh. He had a long tail. Look, it's because his tail comes out a half an inch. What is it? Because his tail comes out half an inch. He's 15 and a quarter. Yeah, yeah just push him, push him hard against it. He's hard against it. Okay. Well, they shrink a little bit on the eyes. I'll put him back. No, his tail's like half an inch. Is it what? Yeah, he looks small. He'll be bigger next week. He he looks very small. <laughs> the rare one-handed hook. That's funny. Double up. What happened? Need the net. There you go. We had a great time. We caught. I think we had eight slots in the box we caught another four to five that were right there 15 inches 15 and a quarter inches that we that we released we weren't really too fixed on trying to keep a whole lot of fish uh, we didn't want to take some fish so Jeff and his son Jacob could enjoy some but hey you know what we are not done yet we're gonna go offshore we we stopped at the jetties on the way out caught some sheepies and now we're gonna go offshore. Yes, we're going offshore. We're gonna go look for some snapper. 
no snapper season is not open and we cannot keep anything everything is catch and release but let me tell you let me tell you the fishing was crazy it was crazy then we caught like somewhere between five six hundred pounds of red snapper out there it was nuts so stay tuned for that video it's coming it's coming i'm done editing this one i'm gonna edit that one this doesn't have to be it though okay at the end of this video which we're close to youtube and select a video for you to watch for texas all water fishing so click on it well, let's keep it going let's keep it going fish watch fishing videos all day get in trouble with the boss get in trouble with the lady what are you what are you on your phone for why are you watching man i'm watching ruben the texas all water fishing i just can't get enough just gotta keep watching it fish crazy fish crazy but hey don't forget to like comment subscribe share and until next time don't stay away too long A couple of days the rest of the video is coming out we're going snap a fish my new favorite fish. Just joking, Flounder. I still love you.